Greetings, fellow ancient soldiers. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 62 of The Vultures. I managed to capture both mammoths for power generate later power generation and destroy the entire mech cluster with a nut bruise of one. Pretty good. So paid conflict. Uh, I'll have you vote. Do we accept paid conflict? Yes or no. Keep in mind that uh, psych Psychic Neuroformers or Silent Neuroformers are not allowed in this playthrough. So we would be picking between a Jump Pack and Steel Bed or Plasteel to kill some people. What is that? Uh, 42, 47? Have you vote on that? All right, Addy. Go eat. And then once you're up, I'm going to have Addy... Um, head to the next vault. Oh, no, there's more mechs. I didn't even, uh, oops. I don't know how I missed them, but they're obviously here. really don't know how I missed them. But they're, they're doing some damage to the walls, so we'll take care of them. Alright, checking the numbers here. Yeah, it's just this last scullywag. Done. Not bad. So if we don't have any more work, I'm going to uninstall these fermenting barrels and put a hydroponic tray back in there. Give you one more minute to vote on paid conflict. And we're almost ready to... Uh, We're almost ready to start doing more of the shipbuilding. Yeah, <laughs> LB Mayan. <laughs> Thanks to resub. Hi and bye. <laughs> Trying to catch up on YouTube. I get it. I get it. So, Addy, whatever happened to all the nanites? You didn't put them away. So before those nanites decay, I'm going to have them hauled into the nanite storages. And then it was Kellyan and Zela that won the Who Gets Modded poll. I'm 99% sure. What reward to accept for the paid conflict? A jump pack in a bed or plasteel? Give me two and a half minutes on that. Do I not have herbal meds? Yeah, I guess I don't. Okay. What are we doing with this? What, what do you do? You're running through the base with corpses? All right. Whatever. So Addy's up. Addy, let's go to the next vault. And hopefully you won't have a conniption like you did in the last one. So Addy. Some meals. Some spare luciferium and go. Should 
Cheers. Now, I still am not really understanding where all the components are. You guys said that they're out here with the mechs. That's a crazy name. Elner Andre. Yeah, I guess there are some components out here. Hopefully, high priority hauling will uh, sort that out. So I'm going to leave the high priority hauling on for a bit longer. So Elner here is a boss, self-proclaimed boss. He is, um, he spits acid and fire. Gross. Uh, doesn't like the cold and is very paranoid. He's a good fighter, but doesn't do carrying, cooking, or dumb labor. A misogynist teetotaler and a night owl with a messed up left arm. Who is 57 years old. What kind of vault is this? I forget. I don't think this is the style that has the genome sequencer. Also doesn't have the um, defensive turret that we're looking for because these are destroyed. Nanite retractor. Yeah, I don't think it uh, doesn't have what we're looking for. But Elner here, you can put your clothing back on. And we're accepting for our Plasteel. So taking a look at this quest, paid conflict... They arrive in four days. Okay. No problem. A raid of that size is just like a Monday for us. And it don't mean nothing. So, Elner, I'm going to give you meals. And then Addy is going to hack to uh, <clears throat> figure out between Elner and whoever's in that other sleep pod... If we're keeping either of them. And yeah, I don't have a genome stabilizer here. Elnor, are you a better intellect than, uh, than Addy? No, you're somehow worse. But I'm going to make you hack anyway. Because I don't think you can get to the... The station. Oh no, you can. Because it's right here. Well, the slingshot's up here, so Elner won't be able to get to the slingshot unless I bash some doors down. But we'll, we'll have to deal with that if we get there. I'm gonna... Turn the lights on in here, it will help me a little bit. There we go. Oh, right, the carcinoma. Uh, let's get that removed. Any other health conditions I need to be aware of? Got worms for, no, okay. And then we also need to run the gene potting. So it was Kellyan and Zela. Zela, good luck. I'm not going to run the prediction on Zela, though, because 90% chance of fail is less interesting to predict upon than Kellyan's chance to add, I'm going to guess. So Kellyan, hop in here and add a power. Oh no, guys. You're so nervous. Hope you don't die. So Kellyan's out of power is the 30% chance of failure. And I'm going to run a prediction on that. Well, will the gene modding succeed for Kellyan? Yes or no? Addy has successfully hacked the broadcast station, so we have the next vault location up here. And then Elner, I think I'm going to get you started on bashing this door down. Although it's quite likely that we don't finish that off, not unless we want to keep one of the new recruits.
So Eric's car, okay, hasn't been tended to yet. Let's quickly tend. We are still high priority hauling, and most of the high priority hauls are corpses. You just noticed the special pet I have there? Uh, there's no story behind the pet. I just wanted a pet centipede, so I have a pet centipede. It's it's really that straightforward. All right, almost done. And behind door number two, we have Dean, who's definitely female, so strange name. Oh, because your first name's Dolores, who is a pacifist. Now, a little review of the rules here. Vultures cannot be cannibals or body purists. I believe they can be pacifists, so I guess it's fine to keep Dean. Dean's probably a pacifist as a result of... Conscious, conscientious objector. So, uh, Dean, electricity blast and phasing through walls, but is mute and does not fight as weaknesses. Too smart, sickly, really good intellectual. One of the powers of Dean, or Dolores here, would be, Dolores would be a really good vault uh, searcher because she is a very good in intellect, meaning that she can hack quickly and she can phase through walls. So, yeah, I know I put my thumb on the scale a little bit, but uh, she would be pretty good to replace Addy here, I think. Uh, so, do we keep either of the new vultures? Yes or no? Tis up to you. And Dean, uh, I guess you're going to strip naked, so do whatever you need to do. That's fine. Oh, shaken, starting fires. Go for it, dude. All you're doing is burning corpses that need to get burned anyway, so you're being very helpful. <laughs> I've never seen a pyromaniac spree work out so beautifully, ever, in my thousands and thousands of hours of playing. Never has it been useful until today. Rock on, man. Burn them all! <laughs> Honestly, I've never seen it helpful until today. I've only ever seen them, like, light anti-grain warheads on fire, light a chem fuel stockpile on fire. You know, the kind of nonsense that you would absolutely not want to have happen to you. Yeah, that's, that's the only experience I've ever had up until today. Uh, so I'll give you one more minute to vote on... Yes or no to Dean. And then uh, Addy's asleep, I guess. Dean will be giving you travel meals for now. And figure out who we're adding if we do. Look at Chicken so diligently setting each an individual uh, corpse on fire without even a, a source, a fire source. Like, that's something that always, always confused me about uh, RimWorld is tribals can light your crops on fire, right? Or like raiders can light your, your farms on fire without Maltovs or an incinerator launcher or anything. But you can't. You can't light anything on fire unless you have a, a flame-based weapon. So what's the secret? Are they all magically packing lighters or something? Like, I just don't understand. But whatever the case may be, uh, Shaken has used that magical power and made fire out of nothing, which is incredible. All right, uh, who are we keeping? Dolores Dean or Elner Andre Von Kofod Ed. <laughs> My God, I'm just going to call him Elner because I'm not going to bother with the full name. Give you two and a half minutes on that, and then we'll bail out of here. It obviously didn't have any of the components that we needed for gene modding, but uh, it does have a bunch of nanites, so I'll bring those home. And if I bring those home, I will power up the nanite storages.
And don't worry, this is not outro music. <laughs> I like Dean's hair. Wait, hold up on that. Until we're ready to leave. Ooh. Huntables. Gotta get the Moomalo meat. All right, it's, uh, I'm just gonna call this early. It's pretty clear that Dean is joining us here. So here's how I'm gonna roll it. Uh, Dean, grab all of those components. Addy, grab as much of the Pactus of Rival Meals as you can. And Elner, you're gonna get banished. Because I can't get you to the, uh, the pod. I mean, I'll also pick up these meds. We're not leaving Elner a whole lot of stuff. Uh, Addy. No, actually, Dean, pick up these nanites instead. Kind of slightly more important. And we'll break down the gene pod for nanites as well. Hopefully I have enough carry weight. Oh, she's full. Uh, so... Addy will make room. Dean, you phase to the... Oh, this is the wrong room. Where is the slingshot? I could have swore it's in this room. Oh, that's right. It's, God, it's right there. Oh, goodness. It's right there in front of me. All right, so Dean is ready to go, but he's going to wait for Addy. No, no. Whatever, I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer. And, uh, and we'll get them all home. So I'm just picking up a lot of the nanites because I was running low back home. For him. Okay, we're all topped up. So, load Dean Addy and launch. Oh! Home. Uh, so, uh, Elner. Oh, this was already hacked. Oh, because it's up there. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Eln. You were banished. And then this triggers the raffle timer for Dean. Which means if you're a subscriber of mine, uh, you can get Dean assigned to you and be able to choose uh, what cycles they go through, etc. And here they come. So Dean, I am going to clear your forced clothing so you can actually wear stuff that you're supposed to wear. Give you the scheduled drugs and uh, have you drop the nanites. And components that I stole. Uh, it appears to me like you're also going to need a charge rifle. I'm just going to have you... Oh, you're not even capable of violence, so you're not going to need a charge rifle for a bit. And good luck on the raffle, guys. Four minutes left to be eligible. All you got to do to become eligible is type something in the, uh, in the chat here. I'm going to force high priority hall, everybody, so that I can move these... Um, to move the super nanites where they belong. Hopefully I won't have to micromanage them. And then Dean, it seems to me like you are gonna need some sort of style change here because you are multicolored. Oh, I like that color. It's a really nice color. As far as work priorities go, you're a good doc. And that's about it.
I'm gonna have Dean here help to haul these nanites as a high priority. Zayla and Kellyan will be out in about a day and a half. And then I'll pull you all about who goes through it next. Ooh, Earthquake. Fortunately, it was nowhere near my vault, so we're fine. We accepted the protecting friends how long ago? Two days ago? So in about two days time, we're going to have... No, this this wasn't it. Uh, paid conflict. One day again. 1.3 days ago. So in about two days and change, we're going to have the raid of 47 or whatever it was. Uh, Shattered Empire soldiers show up on our doorstep. Fine by me. Dean's almost done hauling the uh, the nanites, and we have plenty of nanites for a lot more gene modding to come. And then I think I'm going to do is send Dean out to go hunt for additional uh, vault facilities, because that's what Dean's really good at. This also means that uh, Dean is going to be taking over Arclight's bedroom. So I'm going to break down the Arclight Biosculptor pod and uh, allow Dean to have it. Because it's biotuned arc light for 1.3 more years, so I'm going to just break it down and make a new one. Oh man, so many corpses to haul. Still trying to clean up. At our peak, we were about a 400 corpses. We're down to 180-something, so we've already destroyed about half the corpses on the map tile. So doing a pretty good job of it, but there's still more work to be done. And I'm going to leave it on high priority hall, except for aggro and Eric, because I want them uh, smithing. Getting the advanced components and the regular components so that we can make a ship. Or make spare clothing, in this case. You love mechanoid pets? <laughs> I do too. Legendary button-down shirt. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's pretty good. All right, that is the raffle timer. It goes to... I don't know if there's enough characters to contain your entire name as an... Oh, no. Avia Torton. Well, congratulations to you. You are a brand new colonist. So I'm going to raise our advanced components queue up to 50. And Icarus wants a age reversal soon. Man, there are still so many dead mechs out here that need shredding. I need like a uh, Psycast skip chunk, but Psycast skip corpse. Be a little weird, but boy, would it be helpful. So, Avi Avia Torden, is there a... I, I might just call you Avia. Just because that's pretty verbose. But, uh, yeah, we're going to send you out here. So, as soon as... Agro builds the transport pod, you're going to head to the next vault. Yeah, maybe it's Aviator 10. I don't know. I don't try to interpret people's names. Leet, speak all you want. 
it will be Greek to me. So the only risk to her is that she's a uh, pacifist, which means I should do my best to try to avoid combat. Luckily, being able to phase through walls and shoot l electricity beams out of her, f let's call it fingertips, um, makes you pretty impervious to being attacked unwanted. Okay, and off you go. Sorry, Addy, that you've been replaced, but you're part of the Bash crew, so if there's a pod, if there's a uh, vault that I need to break into, you'll still be out there smashing. So we've got Gabby, whose powers are loner who eats a lot. <laughs> I feel personally attacked. I'm in this game, and I don't like it. Tynan, you're going to be healing, hearing from me, or, or I guess Oscar. One of the two. Oh, I think this is the vault type that uh, has the nanite uh, stabilizer, the genome stabilizer. You're pretty svelte for someone that eats a lot. Maybe you do just have hypermetabolism, but she is now naked. So she's an undergrounder. <laughs> wait, wait. She's an undergrounder who likes to be alone and eats a lot. Are you Gollum? Would you like some raw fish? That's about it, yeah. There's like nothing else to add. She's very basic. And in we go. Hi, Gabby. For the sake of my eyeballs, you little cave troll, please put clothing back on. So I've yet to explore this entire vault. I will be doing that soon. I just need Av Avia's uh, cooldown to... Well, cool down. Oh, Colin has died. Come on now. No one died. One thing I could do is... I'm going to set up an avoid zone here. Or actually, it's probably even cheaper just to remove corpses from the corpse stockpile. So that when I'm force hauling everybody, they... Um, they don't haul corpses because that's kind of the problem is like we're spending so much time hauling the human corpses that we're not doing the things that we need to be doing. All right, so let's go find the the other things that I need to find. Here we go. Here's the broadcast station. So it's probably pretty obvious to you, but the reason why she's so good at searching vaults is her intellectual 13 allows her to hack real quick and her matter phasing allows her to search real quick so she can hop vault to vault trying to find uh, the things we're looking for so who needs age reversal Icarus alright Icarus fill the pod and I think I'm going to be filling the pod oddly with packs of survival meals because because I have so many of them, I might as well use them up. I have like 400 or something, 300 something. So, genome stabilizer. I was right. So, because the type stabilizer's here, the next thing that we need to do is cancel the load of the Antigrand Warhead, which is a little dangerous because it's an Antigrand Warhead just sitting here, and then send all of the Bash Brawlers in here uh, to break a path. You know what? I don't even need to do that because all I need to do is power up these doors. It's actually just normal vault doors and not the locked doors between me and sending this genome stabilizer home. So I believe that there are batteries up there. So I need to just get up there to activate the batteries. Uh, or there's batteries here. So install this battery here and install this battery here. And it, I should be able to pop the doors open. So 
Goro, Addy, Mike, and Noob don't even need to do anything. But I probably ought to load the Antigrain Warhead back in. Because, uh, you know, tantrums. Oh, why'd you go that way? Sweet. Teleporting through walls works in my favor. Then the other question is, are we going to keep Gabby at the cost of um, sending someone else to a vault? Or not? Alright, so now these can be opened. And I, I think there's other pods up here for me to search. As well, so I'll have uh, I'll have Ivia do that too. But before these batteries run out of power, I'm going to prop the doors open so I can uh, I can get that genome stabilizer and leave this popped open just in case the chunk gets moved. This is way more nanites than I have capacity to store, but yeah, whatever. Okay, stabilizer is going to be installed soon, so let's go check the. Cryptopods are the caskets here. Oh, they're empty. Although, 21 Glorold meds is kind of a nice find. So, question. Are we keeping Gabby and banishing someone? Yes or no? And I'm going to get uh, Avia to head home in just a minute. So, set to load, Avia and the stabilizer. Oh, you know what? I will also bring the plasteel and gold, because it's right here. Might as well just grab it, plus the cloth. While you vote on whether Gabby's getting saved or not. So Gabby is the loner who regains recreation when in solitude, who eats a lot, and doesn't like to go outside or do drugs. I feel so personally attacked by Gabby. But if you want Gabby, uh, you can vote to keep her. And we'll sling this stuff home. So Avia has successfully found us a genome stabilizer, which improves our odds for gene modding, which is exactly what we were after the whole time. So I really don't even need to go vault hunting anymore. I mean, I can if I want, but it's not required. Awesome. So, Zila, you did not survive. I mean, I could have saw that coming. It was a 90% chance to fail, and of that 90%, there was like a 33% chance you would just outright die. So, unsurprisingly, that is exactly what happened. Um, I'm going to have you all vote on whether or not we resurrect Zayla in a minute. But before we do that, I'll get her buried. Yeah, that was entirely predictable. And then Kellyan will be out in just a second. And this was an ad power. So Kellyan is not here. So uh, we're not going to keep it Gabby. But I am going to have you vote on a choice here. So choice number one is unstoppable, meaning no pain. But as a result, become lustful. A.K.A. flirts with everybody and... Um, Fights if it's rejected. Or self-control. The ability to immediately stop a mental break 
at the cost of unstable psychic sensitivity gone up. So you guys could vote on Kellyan's power here. And then I'll have you all vote on whether or not we resurrect for 13 or try to find someone out in the, uh, out in the wild. Okay. Looks pretty overwhelmingly like you guys want self-control. So Kellyan, that was the prediction here, did indeed succeed. So congrats. So the power of self-control is you can just snap out of a mental break immediately. It's pretty cool. And, uh, do we res a dead vulture? Yes or no? And sorry, Gabby, even though we have a spot for you, uh, you're not welcome. Bye. She's like, what, what, what? No buts. Goodbye. Okay, I have a ton of weapons that are unwanted, so I'm just gonna, like pod launch them. Instead of melt them down, because I have plenty of steel. Also, it looks like I have space for a little bit of power generation, so that should be Eric opening these up, just in case they uh, are conscious. Ouch! Oh, almost took the arm off. Into the battery you go, little jerk. Dear Lord, that's a lot of damage. I mean, mammoths are very, very scary for that exact reason. Uh, Agro, come, come help. All right, you have one minute left to vote on whether or not we res a vulture, and then you'll pick on which vulture. And then I'm going to wait for Kilgore to be up or for Eric's cooldown to be up to open up the other uh, mammoth. So I don't really want to get mammoth stumped again. It hurts. All right, so Kilgore is awake. Kilgore, you're audacious, but just stand here. Someone else will open it up. Aggro. Psychic shock. Blink, and to the battery. I might also load up some steel, because that's a lot of steel. I probably don't need more steel. So, noob, I'm going to have you start mining out this here so that I can unroof my reactor. And you guys want to res a dead vulture, so I'm going to have you pick who. Who should be rezzed? Zayla? Uh, giants? Sea Panda, Ranzik. Who else is in here? Giants, Soot, Arclight. Okay, pick who should be rezzed, and then I'll pick who goes in, or then I'll put up the vote on who goes through the next cycle. So Zayla was our constructor. Uh, Giants has been dead the longest. Seapanna, Ranzik, Ranzik, and Soot has been dead kind of a long time. And then Arclight, of course, died most recently in the um, the gene modding accident. Accident. Alright, it does look like 
removing the corpses from the corpse stockpile has made it so that we're hauling things that matter now, like drugs and guns and the like. Which is why the stockpile is becoming ever increasingly full of pointless weapons that we do not want. I think I am also going to make uh, more charge rifles. I'm going to make two more charge rifles with aggro because we could use some higher quality charge rifles. Some of the people out here are, are have sort of garbage tier charge rifles. Could be better. And I'm going to make this wall flush. It breaks the rules a little bit, but whatever. Looks nicer, so that's what matters to me. Still no rain? I know. We're we're in a very dry desert. So rain's not a very common occurrence at all. I could use some of that steel for ship struts. I could, but I don't need 4,000 steel for the ship. That's way more than I possibly could ever use unless I'm making a mega ship, which I don't need because I only have 13 people. So... If our stockpile fills up, I could send some of this stuff. I also probably should send the bio-coated triple launchers, too. So let me do that. I don't know how to tell which is bio-coated. Uh, that's annoying. I don't even think forbidding it will work, right? Because that doesn't remove it from the stockpile here. Uh, I guess I'll load all the bio all the triple launchers and then just remove the biocoded ones from the the launch load. It's the safest way here. So it looks like you guys want Zayla back. I'll bring Zayla back to service once again. No death for the wicked. So, Aggro, being our leader, you should probably open that sarcophagus and bring her back to death. I also have horses. True. Uh, I don't think you're going to be bringing the horses on uh, to space. And she's up. So in 10 days, we'll know if she has some sort of adverse reaction to the resurrection process. Who should be chosen for gene modding? Aviator 10, uh, newest on this list. So here's the list. I'll give you just two and a half minutes to vote on that. A little worried about this roof collapsing on my head. Don't want to prove Chicken Little right. Also, if I randomly disappear, it's because there's like thunderstorms. I should be okay. I'm usually okay. For thunderstorms, I'm close to, like, important things on the power grid, but just letting you know. I could kind of hear it in the background, so. Alright, I am stopping the high priority hall so that we can remove roof. What is holding up that roof? I have no idea, but it definitely messed up my ship reactor, but it's down to 10%, so it survived, which is good, because, you know, I didn't want to have to charge a new one up. I'm actually going to change the structural ship beam location here. 
That was close. I sweat a little. I'll be honest. Alright, looks like you guys want uh, Aviator 10 and Zela into the, the gene, gene modding. God, you're putting Zela through it again? You guys are so much more cruel than I could ever be. She has died, and you're like, Alright, welcome back to life. Time to toy with you again. Off to death. Okay, so I guess you've made your choices here. Aviator 10 and Zela, good luck. So for Aviator, uh, what cycle do you want to do? This is the timer for Aviator cycle. Uh, Aviator, if you want to make a choice and overrule chat, you're welcome to. So taking a look here, just so that it's an informed choice. If you added a superpower, it's only a 20% chance of failure. If you removed a weakness, it's a 50-50. And you want to add a superpower. Okay. Going with majority rules. And then Zayla can only remove a weakness because she's already fully powered. So we're going to run a poll on whether or not it's a 2080. There you go. There's the prediction if you want to bet. And then we're going to haul Zayla's unconscious body to the gene tailoring pod and put her through the hell. Because you guys are terrible. And uh, and we're going to be removing weakness at 80-20. So the opposite of Aviator 10. Welcome, Trader. Let's see what they want. I'm going to probably sell some of my steel rather than to send it randomly. Uh, I am not going to buy animals, though. I don't think. So let's sell... 1500 of the steel. I don't think I'm going to need that much. Buy the wood for the chem fuel. And... How's my nutrimine? My nutrimine's fine. Um, buy the meat. And that dang near bankrupts me. High priority hauls. Oh, and here is, uh, Aviator's... Oh, I guess this is Zayla's now? No, 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 this is Zayla's. Where is Zayla? Yeah, this is Zayla's, and this is going to be Aviator's. It's the Aviator, you now have a Biosculpt. I don't need a Powered On for now, but... When you need it, it's there. So interestingly, even though there's almost nothing to hunt here, because of all the purchasing I've done, we have a completely full stockpile of meat. Like, absurdly so. Oh, zero-day exploiters scattering all over the place. I kind of... The scattered all over the place is probably statistically one of the easiest raids to beat because, you know, divide and conquer and all. But in my opinion, with laser eyes, it's so much easier when they're all grouped up because they all die at once. Ow! They have a flame sword. What is the chances of the one that pops out on us having a flame sword? That sucks. Here, unconscious for you. Mr. Toga Man died. Uh, another thing that I'm going to need to do, obviously, is to protect my ship, right? So as part of the challenge, I'm not going to allow myself to wall the ship off. So it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be dangerous for me to have the ship here, and I'm just going to have to keep protecting it. 
definitely into fight mode. Why can't I fireball him? There we go. Here, smash Gord Gordiana or whatever her name is. Oh! He cut off your toe. Well, <clears throat> uh, I guess that means we're gonna get a bionic leg. Because we're missing body parts. Although I could put Addy through a, uh, uh, through a, a bio cycle. I think it's easiest to just do that. Alright, let's breathe some ice. Splat. Don't touch me. But I'll smack you down anyway. And... Kill the ones that are picked up. Nope, oh, don't like the fire sword. Let's back out of that. Alright, so no one's attacking the reactor, but one is attacking the beam. It's annoying, but I can handle that. I could tank it a little while longer. I stopped Addy's bleeding, which is good, because it was kind of going fast, and they are now fleeing. They didn't even manage to get the structural beam. Cool. Thank you for tuning in to The Vultures, which originally streamed live on Twitch May 1st. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. But please keep in mind that the series has since ended. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video also have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming series. Farewell. <laughs>